Welcome to Growing Craft friends and in this tutorial you are going to learn five ways of image transfer with your packaging tape. So this is a clear packaging tape and my first option here is the pattern paper. Now for this image transfer technique you need your favorite pattern paper. You can take it of any thickness, any size and here what I have is my magical packing tape. Yes, you heard me right. You just need your pattern paper, your uh, packing tape and you are so good to go so here i'm sticking my packing tape on my pattern paper you have to make sure that you stick it on the design side and cut it to the size you want it now you need a tub of water but before that what you need to do is you need to make sure that there are no wrinkles and bubbles at all so here i'm using my uh, scraping tool and i'm just pressing this really well so that whatever the air bubbles are it can be removed and once this is done once you are happy with it, you can move on to the next step. Now, one of the easiest way of uh, removing this is with your scoring tool also that really helps. So once this is done, you can see how clear it is. And then I'm going to take a tub of warm water. Just make sure that you have a warm water so that uh, peeling off your uh, extra paper and getting your design becomes easier. Now here you need to start rubbing your uh, backing. So when I say backing, it's the backside of the paper and you have to do it till you get the final results. Meanwhile, do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and hit the bell icon so that you guys do not miss out any of our updates. Now, just to repeat the process of rubbing, you have to make sure that it is like really wet. So soaking your uh, tape with your pattern paper for 15 minutes is really required and it has to be in a warm water. Now, where you can use these designs, they are like absolutely amazing for your art journals and your decor or your decoupage ideas also. So here my first option is ready and this looks absolutely gorgeous and amazing. Isn't it? Now let's move on to our next option and that is the newspaper. So this is something which is very, very common. We have it all the time at our home. So the second option what we have picked up is a very thin uh, newspaper which was lying around. I really like the design of all these beautiful and amazing people standing out there. So I just thought of using this as my image transfer and I am going to use this in one of my art journals. So the option is like unlimited. You guys have so many designs in your newspapers out there which you get every day. And trust me, you can use these with any any of your mediums now for the very thin newspaper you have to be a little careful there should not be any wrinkles or bubbles so this is also one of the ways of doing your decoupage art like if you are really keen on having a particular design but you are unable to do the decoupage art you can use this image transfer technique the photo transfer technique and it looks absolutely amazing so once I was done with my packaging tape sticking work, this looks amazing and now I'm going to cut this out. So in this way, you can use any part of your, uh, your newspapers. Trust me, it's such an amazing way of using your uh, scrap papers and doing a beautiful art journal and a lot of journaling and it looks amazing. So here I will cut down the path on which I have used my tape and you can repeat the process for as many designs as you want. Like I have just picked up this one particular pattern. If you want, you can use a whole lot of your uh, designs from your newspapers and they are going to look amazing. So once I am done with my cutting work, I'll just make sure that I remove all the extra part of my papers. So I'm just going to soak the part which has the tape on it so that I do not waste my time on removing the excessive paper that will save really a lot of time. So once this is done, again, I'm going to repeat the process. Now the process is very simple. Take a tub of warm water. Yes, it has to be warm water so that it gets soaked really well and your image transfer, your photo transfer becomes much more easier. So I let it soak in for like 15 minutes and ta-da, it's time to remove the packing plies. And can you see, you can see both of the designs so clearly, but removing this was super easy. And uh, trust me, uh, with the newspaper, I felt removing the design was way more easier than the pattern paper. So it's not that you cannot do the pattern paper. You will love doing it. Do try it out. But with the newspaper, it was super duper easy and super, super, super quick. 
now for my next hour journaling i'm already thinking of the designs what i can do and um, i'm super excited to work on something new coming up on my youtube channel so stay tuned and check out for the other options too so like i said like i promised i'm going to give you five ways of image transfer five ways of photo transfer so once this is done here i have one more option for you and that's the third one but this looks amazing isn't it let me know in the comment section your feedbacks now here is the magazine yes you heard me right did you ever thought that you can use these handy magazines which is like always at our doorstep for your image transfer or your photo transfer i really love this pretty girl and uh, trust me whatever the designs i have picked up it was like on the spot bang on i did not like planned too much when but options or the designs i really loved this one and i thought i should use this for my image transfer now for this photo transfer i have used a magazine so in the first option what we you saw was a uh, image transfer with the pattern paper then we had the image transfer with the newspaper now what we have is a image transfer with your magazines and trust me whatever the magazines you have at your home you can use it any time so again i have picked up this beautiful pretty girl and again here i'm using my scraping tool now one of the easiest way to uh, use uh, any of your tools is like if you don't have a scraper you can use your old credit cards or debit cards trust me they are one of the easiest and the handy and the cheapest way use any of your old or your scrap uh, credit cards or debit cards and they are just perfect for removing all your wrinkles and your bubbles the same technique works very well with your decoupage art if you are a decoupage art like beginner trust me using your uh, old credit card debit card works pretty well so for this one i would say even if like soaking in a warm water for 10 minutes will work with your newspapers and magazines but like i said i try to uh, soak in everything so well so that removing designs become much more easier that's the reason i would suggest to soak it for 15 minutes after 15 minutes it was done and here my uh, magazine cut out is and this looks gorgeous initially you might feel oh this is not looking clearly but the moment you start scraping your extra paper you can see how beautifully your design has come out on your tape so packaging tapes are one of the best ways of uh, doing your image transfer your photo transfers i have already done this technique earlier you can check out on my youtube channel where i had used it so these are just perfect for your decoupage art for your journaling and uh, trust me you can even make create beautiful cards with these kind of uh, packaging tapes so photo transfer is something which i absolutely love and i think it's one of the best way of using your old pictures and giving a life to them so this was my third option that was the magazine cut out and can you see how cool this looks now let's move on to the gift wrapping paper so if you guys are confused yes you heard me right it's a gift packing paper we all have gift wrapping paper lying around so i have already pre-cut the strip of this paper because i had like a long long piece so this is not actually a gift wrapping paper this is more of a gift wrapping paper with a, a shopping paper i really loved it i have used this for a lot of my uh, product photography so you can see that on my youtube channel and even on my facebook and instagram too so again i'm using my packaging tape the clear packaging tape and i'm going to cut the extra with my scissor and uh, here is one tip try to keep it as neat and clear and as simple as you could towards the end of the video you will see i have even done a blunder with one of my uh, options what it was you will see at the end of the video so here again i'm using my scraper tool and uh, i got this from the dollar store the scraper tool i was trying to find out the uh, scraper tool and at michaels and at other craft supply stores were like bomb expensive and i found this at the dollar store and i really loved it just in case if you guys want me to uh, put up the links of all these uh, scrapers from dollar store let me know i'll try to put up all the links in the description box now once i removed all the wrinkles and bubbles i have soaked it in the water for 15 minutes so like i said if you're using a very thin paper even 10 minutes will work better 
and as you can see that it's a gift wrapping paper it really soaked in so quickly like within seven minutes it was done and even scraping this was like super easy and trust me this looks so beautiful honestly the camera is not doing justice to this particular design at all it was actually like you are having a uh, uh, packaging tape with such a beautiful design on the background and i really loved it so try out the papers whatever you have and i'm sure you're going to love this photo transfer technique or the image transfer technique so can you see this this looks absolutely amazing now here is my last option and the most requested one the photo print or the text print image transfer now this is a blunder what i did so there is this quote which i had printed and i like literally i tried to cut it really well i did that i was very good at the cutting of this one but the mistake what i did was while putting up my tape uh what i did was uh, i didn't hold my packaging tape properly so uh, this actually got a lot of wrinkles and removing that wrinkle was difficult and as it's a coat it has to be clear so can you see the wrinkle here so this was a mistake what i did so i had to scrape this one i i'm going to do this again promise but i had to scrape this one for now okay so then quickly i decided to use the another uh, coat and uh, yes likewise i would suggest whenever you are taking a print so this is an inkjet printer and whenever you are taking a print take a print of a lot of options so that if you uh, by mistake damage one you have one more option to work on so the inject printer or uh, image transfer or the photo transfer is like super 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 easy and uh, the process is same the process is simple you just need to use your good quality packaging tape make sure that your print is like in black bold color so that it comes out really well and again the process is same you just need to scrape it pretty well but the only difference is as the print papers are thin you have to be a little careful so the process goes same as your packaging papers or your pattern paper or your newspaper image transfer or the photo transfer like here i have taken a quotation you can even do your photo image transfer and trust me that's going to look gorgeous if you have not checked out my previous tutorials do check it out you will love those image transfer techniques too so once i was happy with like no wrinkles no bubbles at all i actually soaked this in water for like uh, 12 minutes somewhere but like i said you should go for 15 minutes that will be good so once i soaked it for 15 minutes then this is how it looks and i started scraping it out so yes with the different printers the image transfer work differently and my inject was not that great but it was pretty well so image transfer or your photo transfer is super cool way of giving a new life to your old pictures and your old magazine cutouts so here this is and let me show you all the five options let me know your feedbacks in the comment section now coming back to this one here is first one with the first image transfer with the pattern paper the second one which i absolutely absolutely loved was my newspaper cutout can you just imagine you can use all of these for your art journaling for your decoupage art and they are going to look fab now the third one which i loved 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 and i think that this is so handy for any of your like decoration is this newspaper cutout photo transfer and then this is my gift wrapping image transfer and the last but not the least my diy quotation image transfer you can even use your photo transfers too and this is how the last one looked like so i really hope you guys enjoyed this let me know your feedbacks in the comment section thank you so much for watching guys take care and bye bye